And Marion is here right now, and it is always great to see you. It really is. You're such a tonic. Oh, you, you cheer me up. You cheer me up. Now, Tim Roth exactly is saying that we all have to read this. Oh, he that's, did? Yes, he did. So that's a, that's that's a good very endorsement. Decent. That's really decent so of him. The, the, what I love about you is you take an idea, and whilst I was reading this, you're kind of almost thinking about how would I deal with this? How would I deal with my husband saying he wants to take a break? Yeah, well, I mean, I thought about it my, myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it's a thing, a marriage sabbatical. It's, um, it's apparently a result as, um, of our life expectancy being so much longer. Right. Because like, say, you know, in the olden days, like if you were happily enough married and say you were in your mid forties and you were thinking, Asher, look at, you know, I'm expecting to drop dead at 55. I might as well just take well it out. <laughs> yeah, but now because we're expected to live to 95 and longer, people are looking at their lives mm -hmm. and they're thinking, I love my person, but I'm not sure that I can do another 50 years without some sort of a uh, variety. Right. So it's it's actually become a phenomenon that I mean originally people were asking for time off to kind of go and learn mosaicing or, or kayaking or something mm -hmm. but then it sort of m mutated into something a bit uh, raunchier. Right. Um, and so this is what happens in the book. Hugh um, he, and like he's a nice man. Yeah he's, he's, he's a good not, guy. Yeah he's yeah. not a, like a player or a messer but his dad has died. He's, you know, he's been altered fundamentally mm. by by that, and he is in torment. And he tries, you know, other ways of kind of curing himself. And he decides that this is his only option. And um, when I was writing it, I was thinking, if himself decided oh. that he wanted to do that, mm -hmm. it would be awful. It'd be terrible. It and would that's be awful. But it's it's the reaction. It's her reaction to it all, isn't yeah. it? Because her whole world falls apart. Yeah. And yeah. she's got to kind of rediscover herself. Really. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like initially, she thinks like she just wants to go to bed for the six months and just lie there like eating sugar puffs like yeah. straight from the box. And slowly she realises, you know, she was an independent woman before she met him, mm. you know. And even in her marriage, she had the odd flirtation, you know, when, you know, somebody would look at her and give her an old smile and she'd be yeah. like, what? Who, me? <laughs> and kind of, she rediscovers that part of herself. Yeah. So she makes the most of that time eventually after she gets past the, the initial shock mm. and sorrow. And it's that thing of, without, I don't want to give too much away because obviously people all, all want to read the break, but it's that thing of what do you do when he comes back? If he comes back? Oh, yeah. If he does decide to come yeah. back, what happens then? Because you've both changed so much. Absolutely. You can't just click yeah. back into place. Like, re-entry would be very difficult mm. in those sort of circumstances. Absolutely. Yeah. I was really sad when I finished because I always am when I finish one of your books. It's always like, oh, because I, I race through it far too quickly. It's ridiculous. It's I like, love It's you. like eating a great meal really oh, too fast. Lovely. Do you know what I mean? Thank you. Know but what's it like for you when you actually do the end? I mean, do you miss these characters? I do miss yeah. them, I do. I know it sounds pathetic, but no. like they become sort of real to me. And like there's a big cast of characters in it because it's a big, messy yeah. Irish family. And yeah, I love them and, you know, I might kind of take it. There's a sister in it that mm. uh, I, I like her, yeah, her I carry on. Mm. So yeah, I might I might come back mm. and revisit her. That would be good. Yeah, I'd like it because yeah. I, I feel as if I've got to know these people and I want to know more about them. Thanks. Reading it, I could see it being, and I know you don't write it like this, Marion. I know yeah. you don't, but I could see it being a drama. I could see it being a TV drama or or a movie or something like that. And I know your books have done that before. Yeah. It's funny. I never think about it like that because for me, it's just all about the book. But it might be a laugh. It might be a bit of crack to. to see it on the telly. It would be great yeah. to see it on the yeah. telly. Now, look, you're like me, you love TV. Oh, you love TV. I live for it. I know, and we yeah. share a, dis we share a love yeah. of pole dark, of course oh, we do. Yes. And I love your pole dark bingo. Yeah. I love yeah. pole dark bingo. Yes. So certain things have to happen, and then yeah. you can either have a sweetie or a drink, whatever you want to do. Yeah, or a Percy Pig, or, yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So yeah. if Ross gallops along by the cliffs, yes. Demelza does her comedy curtsy, I yes. like that one. Yeah. John being grumpy, yeah. Verity being disappointed. Yeah. Oh, but we never saw much of Verity in the last series. No, no, no. I did this with the first series. Yeah. I might have to update it. I think you might have yes. to update it yeah. definitely yeah. with them. Oh, with the horrible reverence. Yes, oh. yes, exactly. When yeah. he looks at someone's feet in a yeah. weird way, <laughs> yeah, we have to take a drink. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. you really would. I know. Yeah. 